All right, now, um, on our first segment, this is the first time this is happening on UD, and this is quite interesting. Costopia Horror Convention is what we are going to be talking about. Um, I'm as interested, and I have as many questions as you do. So, without wasting time, let's have Lawrence Mwangi, who is the director coming from wherever he's coming from. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Good morning, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just start. Um, introduce yourselves because I'm, I'm, I'm done scared of him. <laughs> I just come to scare a DJ and everything, taking over the show. Let's start with you, darling. As um, you, can t you explain to us what exactly Kostopia is. Hi. So mm -hmm. my name is Kelly Noirimo. Um, you can call me Kelly. Mm -hmm. So I am the producer of Miracat and we are hosting the event Costopia. All right. Mm -hmm. So, um, darling. Uh, my name is <coughs> sorry. sorry. My name is Sylvia. The DJs call me Sly. Um, I'm a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. Uh, I venture into body art and uh, beauty makeup mm -hmm. and special effects, as you can see. Mm -hmm. This very pretty thing here. Yeah, so I'm partnering with them and yeah, we're going to bring Kostopia to you guys. It's a comic convention. It's a comic convention. A Kenyan comic convention. Kenyan comic convention. Yes. Okay. Okay. Should we start with the artistry or we start with Kostopia? Kostopia itself. Um, I'll, I'll let you speak, worry not. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, uh, Kostopia um, a Horror Convention, what is it all about and how long is it? Um, Kostopia mm. is all about, um, like she said, it's all about the, it's like Comic Con. I'm sure you guys have heard of Comic Con. Comic Con is, you bring all these characters, like your Batmans, your people from, games video games mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you just bring them to life basically mm -hmm. all right yes and how long is it going to be mm, well this event is mm -hmm. going to be it's starting from two to six but well, there's uh, help me understand here what mm -hmm. is the event all about what's your goal um for hosting this particular event well mm -hmm. can okay. i <laughs> Um, my name is Lawrence, I'm mm -hmm. the director for Mirror Cup Project. Right. Uh, basically, what Costopia is all about is we, we branded our film organization to mm -hmm. do horror films. So what the event is aimed at is to engage the Kenyan audience to appreciate horror and thrill films and to encourage people, and especially filmmakers, to make horror films. So it's, uh, it's more an event that incorporates film, cosplay, gaming, and uh, arts and crafts. So, w w what's the itinerary looking like? Mm, the itinerary is amazing. Yeah? yeah? People are very positive about it. All right. All right. You know, anytime when, when he speaks, I'm sorry, but I can't even, I'm not paying attention to what <laughs> is coming out of his mouth. I keep on looking at what's going on with his face. And I guess that's where you come in. Yeah. Um, you, this, this, is, this is your product. Yeah. So basically, this is a, it's a character, it's a horror character, a classic, a very awesome classic horror character. Mm -hmm. He's called uh, Jason Voorhees. The movie is uh, Friday the 13th. Wait, it's really? a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were just going Sorry. to find out. I'm sure you have so many fans of this character. So we just decided to do this basically, because mm -hmm. this is what the, the, I think the theme of the event is, because we want to create more awareness to such things and also to, to familiarize people with the concept of comic. It's something that's seen as, as, a, as a foreign thing or something that you can just do as a co-curricular activity, but it's something that people actually can invest in and make something out of it. Mm. So we just want to create awareness and also, as you say, to filmmaking, just create something outside the barrier of what you usually do or what you usually see. Yeah. All right. I want to know... How do you comfortably make that out of a human being? It's, it's, I'd say it's, it's passion. I, on, on this end, <laughs> I can see, if you, if you just could turn, Lawrence, on this end, if our, our cameraman could just kindly 
if you look at uh, Lawrence, yes, y y on your face, the, those are screws. Mm. Yeah, just painted <laughs> on it. It's yeah? just an, it's a, an illusion. Yeah. It's, it's a kind of an illusion just and to you make do it this look like screws. Yes, this is actually my profession. I do body paint, I do special effects for like wounds and stuff like that. And also this is actually just face paint. I also do full body paints. And actually this is a, my t-shirt. I painted as well, so this is also my work. Mm. This is uh, Rick from Rick and Morty, mm -hmm. if you have fans mm -hmm. here. So basically it's just a matter of um, passion in something. I think that and drive, that is what will enable you to pull off something like and this. And how's that doing in Kenya? Actually, it's people are starting to appreciate such things. I've actually, I started this in, um, I'd say professionally in 2017, mm -hmm. of which I still get some skeptics. They're like, what's this? We've never seen this. It's so weird. But I think as, as we continue to evolve in terms of movies, mm -hmm. people see foreign things, they'll see stuff like this and mm -hmm. they'll finally come to accept it. All right. Yeah. Because uh, I can imagine. Can you <laughs> it's quite horrific Uchawi. to some people. Yeah. I get that a lot. Because <laughs> yeah. I, I, I usually do it on myself. So people are like, what are you doing? In a kama shito. That that yeah. 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 You, you, you be accused of all sorts of things. <laughs> but majority of people are accepting it. So it's yes. a positive thing. Of course. And um, they, they have, hey. <laughs> 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 it's okay. So, um, Anyway, coming back to comics, uh, most of the comic that we see in Kenya is stand-up comedy and um, not, sorry, not comics, uh, leave stand-up comedies alone. Oh my God, that makes me feel so foolish. <laughs> 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 worry. The, the, the comics on, 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 the, on, the, on, the, on the different books is, is what we normally see. But what you guys are doing uh, are bringing it to life. How is that reception, especially in, in Kenya? It has its audiences, really, and we're pulling more. I would say so. Uh, yeah, to add on that, I think uh, if you guys have recently seen the previous Nikon convention, like it's actually the comic community, the Kenyan comic community is actually really growing well. But we even have like people who draw, people who like create their own African characters, yeah. their own original Kenyan characters, mm -hmm. which kind of relates to the audience better and uh, kind of draws them. So better, what's, yeah. what's, what's your audience target? Our audience target is uh, basically anyone who just wants to come and have fun. Mm -hmm. It's a family friendly event. It's not a family. like, yes, yeah, even so yes, you kids. You can bring your kids. Around. Okay, yeah. and when is this? <coughs> this, this is on the 23rd of August, on a Thursday. On a on a Thursday, yeah. Yeah. it is holiday anyway, so you'd be able to have your kids. And um, where can we catch you? Maybe on social media, or even um, if you're to give any more information from uh, what time does it start? Um, where exactly is the event going to be? Charges maybe? On social media, you can get us on the gram and Facebook at Miracat Projects uh -huh. or to Fault Kenya. All right. Yes. And um, more information on it. Um, charges maybe? Charges are 200 bob only. Uh -huh. Yeah, but for participants who are going to compete in the various segments that we have, it will be free. And uh, the, as she said, two from two to six. So we'll have that time schedule to you know entertain you and grace you during the event. We'll have loads of activities and fun. It's mm -hmm. exciting. It's exciting. It's very exciting. It's exciting. And yeah. for makeup, maybe if you, anyone would like to have some makeup, something like this done yeah. on them, for attendance, maybe you. <laughs> <laughs> you can find yeah. me on Instagram. Uh, it's kish underscore artistry. All right. And uh, so there are a couple of people who may have uh, some questions to ask. I don't know if you can uh, bring them on the set. I hear you come with them. Um, oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. There's, there's, a, there's, 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 there's a group. A <laughs> My God. <laughs> they don't look too scary. Do they? All right. Is her waist that small? Uh, or? It is. It, it is, is, yeah? It is. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is what I call Talanta. Come, honey. Okay, so, um, hi. Your name? Um, my name is Shadia. Shadia. Okay, Shadia, you have an amazing waist, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> are you allowed to speak or are you supposed to look like that? This is um, scary. This is scarier than w what you're looking like. It, it, just explain to us what's going on here. Uh, that's a character I came up with. 
uh, it's from the movie Wrong Turn. It's uh, an asylum brother who like these uh, crazy people who are in an asylum and then they broke out and wreaked havoc am uh, among the community. So uh. that's my creation. It took like about a week to make. Yes. Uh -huh. So um, and, and and what about her? Uh, that is Kitana from the Mortal Kombat uh, game. If there are gaming fans out there, she's a princess and as well as an assassin. Okay, Kitana. Mm, yes. Tell us about yourself, maybe. Um, my name is Shadia, mm -hmm. and um, I'm Ugandan. I'm an actress. Yeah, that's basically it. That's basically it. You, you work together. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, what um, different projects have you worked on? Uh, with Shadia, we engage her as an actor. Mm -hmm. Like, cause one of the key points in cosplay is the performance bit. So you need to get to know your character and act it out. Mm -hmm. uh, with Otero is the co-producer for Miraka Projects. Oh, really? She has an interest in cosplay as well. Okay, can you speak? <laughs> I can try. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um, my name is Tero, Teresia. Mm -hmm. I am also. In it. Production manager for Miracat Projects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically. Also do film. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How how did you get into um, interest in? Let me just be a Kenyan suicidal thing. Is it to zavi for vivi for vivi? Yeah, zashito. Niju. People shun from it. Mm -hmm. Like you find most people don't do horror mm -hmm. films. Mm -hmm. But for this character, it goes with the theme of the horror convention. Now, mm -hmm. this is just a character. Just, yeah, 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 yeah. All right. And uh, it's interesting because people shine away from it, so. And then, you know, there's something unique about horror. Mm -hmm. you, 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 you shine away from it, but there's that aspect of you want to know more. Exactly. Yes. There's a thrill. There's exactly. a thrill about <laughs> it. You know, when you're, when you're scared, it arouses something in you. The adrenaline just starts pumping, and Why it's fascinating. It's very devilish. Is it? No, it's not. Okay, 